So I finally made it back to my new favorite place for observing birds in their natural habitat. And I'd like to share a little story about that experience with you today. Welcome to the San Jacinto Wildlife Area. The San Jacinto Wildlife Area is managed by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. The wetlands covers 19,000 acres in a semi-arid inland region of Southern California and is a perennial habitat to many native animal species. The area is visited each year by many varieties of waterfowl, wading birds, raptors, owls, vultures, and falcons who come to feed and rest during their migrations and also includes a number of small mammals such as coyote, squirrel, and even a somewhat famous domestic cat who lives in the wild. In conjunction with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, benefactors of the San Jacinto Wildlife Area include a number of organizations that promote ecological preservation as well as public education and recreation. Please see the links in the video comments below to learn more about the SJWA. Now that we have the nitty gritty details out of the way, let me tell you a little story about how this video came to be. You see, this was my second visit here, but you could also say it was my first. That's because the first time I came out, I hadn't done any research about the place. I simply found something that seemed interesting and was not too far away on the map and set out with my gear to grab some photos and video. When I arrived at what I thought was THE San Jacinto Wildlife Area, I was greeted by a number of locked gates and uninviting signs posted here and there calling for permits to access the area. I felt defeated so I didn't bother investigating further and instead did all my observing from the side of the road. You'll find a link to a video of that first visit at the end of this video. It's a pretty good video if you like birds and want to see what can be found on the outskirts of the wildlife area. In any case, this time out I basically did the same thing. I set out without doing my homework pulled over to the side of the road, and started photographing. Within a short while, however, and out of nowhere came a gentleman carrying a huge lens with a camera attached. He pulled up alongside where I had set up my gear, and approached me, and we had a little chat. We exchanged information about our bird sightings, and to my great surprise, I learned that there was an entire wilderness open to exploration just around the bend and that I didn't need any special permit to enter. I was even more excited when the photographer began to describe what I might find there, so I followed him down the road in my car. As we drove down the well-groomed dirt road and drove right past the inconspicuous entrance to the wildlife area, we were greeted by several small ponds teeming with waterfowl and adorned with natural shrub, grasslands, and native deciduous trees. There were countless number and variety of waterfowl swimming in the ponds and feeding on insects along the shore. I expected our journey would come to an end shortly, but we kept on down the road for quite some time, each turn revealing an ever more vast and new landscape, with a number of prominent hills as a backdrop overlooking some of the most natural wetlands I have ever seen. It was quite a treat for the eyes to see, especially for a lifelong suburbanite like myself. This was nature at its best, unspoiled and unencumbered by the dense humanity normally found around these parts. The concrete jungle was now a world away. Never would I have imagined that such a wonderful slice of wilderness would be hiding in plain sight and so close to home. 
So as we drove further into the wilderness and out of the jungle, I was mesmerized by what I saw next and was forced to pull over right away so as not to be driving while intoxicated. My new photographer friend continued on without me as he set out to one of his favorite areas, hoping to add another sighting to his birding checklist. And that's okay because nature deserves our undivided attention. I'm glad you were able to join me as I share the sights and sounds I experienced that day. After watching this video, I hope you'll get a sense of the feeling as well. Observing wildlife is a multi-sensory experience that wraps you up in discovery and wonder, and in so doing, gives you a perspective of the world and your place in it that you might not otherwise ever experience. All in all, I had a thoroughly enjoyable experience on my second visit to the San Jacinto Wildlife Area. It has great potential to open up vast new possibilities for bird watching, wildlife, and landscape photography as the seasons and weather conditions change. I will definitely be back again soon. From this point out in the video, I will refrain from any further narration so that you may enjoy the sights and sounds of this great area to a reasonable approximation of what it is like to actually be there in person. Observation is a skill that must be developed over time, which in the case of bird watching involves both seeing and especially hearing. So listen carefully and take a good look, but most of all, enjoy. <laughs>